Hey guys, Chris with Nichols Retirement Empire doing some uh, yard work today. Uh, I've mowed the grass. I've got a couple other little things I got to do up front, but the thing I'm going to tackle today is the garden. The only thing that is really still producing is the okra, and it is doing fantastic. Matter of fact, I'm getting more okra, I think, than I have ever got. It's, these aren't the best looking okra plants, but as far as barren okra, I'm getting all kind of okra. These tomato plants are done. Uh, I mean, it's second week of August in southeast Georgia. It has been hot. They're finished. You know, I'm still getting tomatoes, but they're not really. I mean, we got enough put up. We don't need any more tomatoes. Um, and they're all little, the ones that are coming out now. The peas are still kind of producing a few peas, but as far as actually getting any number of peas out of them, they're pretty much done too. Um, I'm thinking about just pulling them up, uh, pulling out maybe some of the ones left. I do have a bunch of seed uh, peas I have already saved. Uh, of course, I'll leave the okra up, and I think I'm going to clean everything else up out of here today, uh, except for the peppers. I'm still getting peppers right there. There's not a whole lot to them, but I am getting peppers so and they leave them in the ground too but everything else is coming up come the dogs to help okay I finished this up earlier now that it's evening and it's cooling off a little bit let's go look and see what all I have done okay I weed ate it all around the weeds had grown up on the outside fence um, dumped all my dirt over here for my tomato plants and then that over there is pretty much a compost pile 
where you see that watermelon and the rest of those tomatoes. And they were starting to rot and stuff. And they were getting plenty of water and everything. It's just that it gets so hot down here that they just, they're just only going to last so long. And uh, that's just the way it is. So I left these jalapenos right here. There's two of those. Left a few of the marigolds around the edge here. Uh, like I said, I left these pepper plants. I'm probably going to leave these in uh, the ground. I'll, I'll cut them down, trim them down. I was going to put them in a pot and put them up next to the house, but I believe I'm just going to leave them right here in the ground. And uh, they should come back next year. I'll know where they are. I'll be able to see the stumps uh, where I trim them up. Uh, like I said, the okra, you saw me cutting it some of it earlier. Even though it does not look, you know, like it's all that big and, and hardy, uh, it is producing a lot of okra. It really is. So I've moved my... Um, you know, the thing I'm using to water with, my sprinkler over here. It was out in the middle. Um, but anyway, I moved it over here. I'm going to bring in some straw and uh, cover up all the exposed ground again. And, um, you know, get that ready to bring in some, I don't know, I think I'm going to plant some collards. And lettuce and stuff like that some late uh, plants so that's where I'm gonna put those and then you know I'll have some on the other side of this oak so um, I, d I really don't know when to plant the uh, collards and stuff I tried to do that last year but now that was before I got this ground fertilized and, and, and treated not treated but um, you know before I, I fertilized it according to what the uh, the county extension agency told me to do and since then i've been able to actually grow stuff in the ground so that's nice but um anyway i got to figure out exactly when i need to get those in the ground because last year when i tried to do it you know it's like i waited too late and then you know they just didn't get big enough you know fast enough so um thanks for watching nichols retirement empire and we'll continue to work on the garden and continue to learn things about it. If you know anything about when I need to plant this stuff or some fall crops that grow good in southeast Georgia, let me know. Uh, and keep in mind what grows good where you live would not necessarily grow here. There's some things that don't grow here. So, But if you know, let me know. I'll be glad to find out. And I'll continue to research it. Thanks for watching. See you guys.